Is it essential for software engineers to have an entrepreneurial spirit and act like a startup CEO? Here is my answer. It's essential if you want to have a fulfilling and highly impactful career. You may be thinking, oh, I don't know what is required to be a CEO and whether I can even develop such skill or mindset. I don't even know a CEO personally. However, you may be surprised to know that you probably already have a lot of similar characteristics that are important for a CEO as an engineer or engineering manager. So it's more about understanding and holding on this skill. Let me share with you five ways to help you think and act like a CEO, even if you have never been one. And the best news is that this key is transferable and useful regardless of where you are currently in your career or which industry you are working for. So the first thing that you need to do is to understand how business success is measured at your current company. Is it measured by the number of clicks or acquisition that you made or number of sales that you made or the growth of the funnel or anything else that is related to that area? Number two, Leverage data effectively. You cannot improve what you don't measure. So remember to leverage data to see how things are going and whether the experiments or tactics that you are doing are meaningfully impacting the data and the results that you want to improve. Number three, learn to delegate. Delegation is not only essential for managers, but also important for engineers. If you are a senior engineer, you might want to delegate some of the tasks to junior engineer to enable them to learn and also to allow them to take on a bit more complexity in their role. Number four, be observed with continuous improvement. I truly believe that everything can be improved if we take time and afford to understand and be curious about what we are doing. Number five, bring positive energy. I think this is especially important in this business climate. Nobody wants to work with a person who is always negative and who doesn't want to see the world from a positive light. And I'm not saying you need to have a toxic positivity, but you need to have some sort of possibility, positivity and bring positive energy to those around you. You can also read my article on the one essential skill that will set you apart from other developers to help you think and act like a CEO.